Yesterday, a gentleman came into our chocolate shop and asked if we'd be willing to let him franchise a Fortunato chocolate store. I could see why he wanted to. Yesterday was a very, very busy day. It was nice and hot here in Washington State, and our offer for free frozen bananas dipped in chocolate was too good to pass up for many, many folks. We had several stretches that were essentially standing room only. Thankfully, our team worked hard, and so did my wife, and so did I, and so did our kids. There weren't any sad faces from having to wait too long. We were all over every single person who walked in the door. Thankfully, a good number of people also decided to partake in free samples, and eventually, they went ahead and took home a Fortunato chocolate product as well. At the end of the day, the owner of the nail salon next door to our shop came over and said that it looked like we were having a party in our shop all day long. That is how we like it. Peruvian music on the Bluetooth speaker, kids with chocolate on their faces, people eating and enjoying themselves, there is nothing better. The gentleman saw all that and realized there was an opportunity in what he was seeing. And he wasn't wrong. After just a couple of weeks open in our new location, it is obvious to me that we have a nice little business model that would work anywhere. All we need is about 500 square feet of space, friendly folks working who really like to talk and give great customer service, and we could pop up a profitable little shop just about anywhere. There is just one hitch in this plan though. We wouldn't have enough chocolate to go very far. Even at full production in Peru, which we're already at, and setting aside our current supply chain issues, we still barely keep up with the current demand from the two stores and our online business. And we can't just start buying more cacao. Cacao comes from trees. Those trees must be planted. A cacao tree takes at least two years from the time it is planted until it starts giving fruit. More likely is three years. As an aside, I'd like to point out how extraordinary it is that trees start producing at mature levels in just two to three years where we operate. This is a sign of the health of the soil and also a sign that the cacao we use is extremely well adapted to the environment. In most other places around the world, it takes much longer for a tree to come into full production. Therefore, in order for us to start franchising, we'd have to start using other cacao. This is absolutely a viable option, and honestly, it would do a lot of good in the world. There are millions of cacao farmers and lots of other good varieties of cacao. Our business model of buying direct from cacao farmers at the source, owning the supply chain, and then selling a premium chocolate at fair prices would work well with just about any good origin. It would be hard. It would require a lot of capital, but it is absolutely possible. It would help to change the lives of the cacao farmers involved, and it would be scalable, and it would be a profitable business that would make a lot of chocolate lovers happy. However, the resulting business would not be Fortunato Chocolate. It would have to be a new business with a new name and a mission different from ours. If anyone wants to start that business, it is a great opportunity and we'd love to be involved. We could give advice and probably even use our logistics expertise to lay a lot of the groundwork, especially if the business were to buy cacao primarily in Peru. The Fortunato and Fortunato Chocolate is the name of a person. Our company is named after Don Fortunato Colala. Don Fortunato had the purest expression of pure nacional cacao ever recorded by the USDA growing on his farm. Pure nacional grows naturally all over the canyon where we operate. And Pure Nacional is the only cacao that we use in our chocolate. It was thought to have been wiped out by disease in the early 1900s. Prior to that, it was prized the world over for the, fine, for the fine flavored chocolate made from it. My dad and my brother came across an unknown population of Pure Nacional growing in a remote corner of the northern Peruvian jungle about 15 years ago. Don Fortunato has been fundamental to the survival of our business in two ways. Not only did Don Fortunato have the purest expression of Pure Nacional cacao ever recorded growing on his farm, he was also one of the very first farmers to agree to sell cacao to us. It is no easy thing for a bunch of gringos to show up 
in a remote Peruvian farming region and start buying cacao. All of these farmers had existing buyers for their crops. To break off those relationships and start selling to us was a risky move. What if it turned out that we were selling them a pipe dream? Or what if we were to go out of business in a couple of years? Then what? They'd be stuck with rotting cacao on their farms and nobody to come out and buy it. We promised these folks for years that we'd be there forever. It was a hard sell, but then a couple of well-respected older cacao farmers decided to give us a shot. Don Fortunato was one of the vanguard. And because he is such a well-respected individual in the community, his example gave us a lot of momentum. Today we buy from more than 500 cacao farms. This is what Fortunato chocolate is all about. We buy one type of cacao from one community in one place. Our mission is to bring chocolate made from that cacao into the world and to support that community. And that means we are going to be a small business, essentially in perpetuity. We have our two shops and our online business, and maybe with time we can open up a few more shops. But it will be slow going. There will never be 1,000 Fortunato chocolate shops. That would be a mathematical impossibility unless we abandon who we are. And we aren't the kind of people to abandon who we are. All that being said, if there are any entrepreneurs reading this or listening to this who are looking for an innovative business model that can change a lot of lives, get in touch with us. And just to keep track, this is day five of 1,000 straight days of writing an article. I hope that you have a truly blessed day.